And CBS News Miami's Jim DeFiti joins us now with a preview of what's ahead. So, Jim, what will you be looking for in tomorrow night's debate? You know, you, in these debates, you want to see a little fireworks. You want yeah. to make it entertaining, you yeah. know, because let's face it, sadly, the debates aren't really having an impact we're seeing on the polls very mm. much. You know, there's Donald Trump is so far ahead that it's really just a race to see who is going to be the alternative to Donald Trump. And right now, that's a two-person race between Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis. And so I'm going to see how they interact. I'm expecting a lot of fighting between them. You mentioned that the debates right now not having much of an impact mm -hmm. on the polls. But what about endorsements? You've got Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds endorsing Governor Ron DeSantis. He's obviously hoping to build on that momentum in the debate tomorrow. What does he need to do to shine tomorrow evening? <laughs> So he needs, again, to try to make the case as to why he should be the Republican nominee. And he's had trouble breaking through. Now, don't get me wrong. The the endorsement by Kim Reynolds, the Iowa governor, that is huge for DeSantis. He is putting all of his eggs in the Iowa basket, as it were. His entire ground operation is now in Iowa. He's moved most of his staff to Iowa. And he's counting on that 99-county strategy in Iowa to really try to give him a better-than-expected showing on January 15th when the Iowa caucus. So what happens tomorrow night is he's got to continue to make that case, build on the endorsement from Kim Reynolds and try to make the argument as to why he is the more electable candidate. And we've mentioned this, instead of taking part in the debate, former President Donald Trump <laughs> is going to hold that big rally in Hialeah. Just a coincidence. Yeah, just it's a just coincidence, a coincidence right? that it's on the in same time. Trump's yes. In true Trump style. Um, but I have to ask you, does what happened at the debate, does it matter for Trump? Does it matter for his supporters? Look, if you read any of the most recent polls, the New York Times or the NBC poll, the CBS poll, the New York Times poll, they all have Donald Trump beating Joe Biden right now. It's it's a uh, it's pretty incredible. And so, the more that that Donald Trump doesn't show up to the Republican debates, the more his lead tends to increase. So that's the dynamic that's at play here, and that's why the problem for the five candidates who are going to be on the stage tomorrow night is how do they break through the clutter and get across to those Donald Trump voters if there are any left who are willing to consider an alternative. And for Donald Trump, look, he's just, he's living his best life right now. He's yelling at judges in New York. He's going through all these, all these trials and tribulations, and he's holding rallies and still moving ahead. So look, for Donald Trump, it's all on the upside right now. Yeah, yeah essentially turning his uh, court proceedings into another campaign event. Absolutely. Well, Jim, thank you for being with us tonight and look forward to continuing the conversation tomorrow night. It's going to be fun tomorrow. Long. All night. <laughs>